All right, welcome back to the Anam Zuffer Show, hosted by yours truly, Anam Zuffer. Today we have, our, as our guest, is Lehman Beecher. Lehman, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. So why don't you tell me more about yourself? Well, I was born in New Haven, Connecticut in 1775, and I attended school at Yale, where I graduated in 1797. After that, I decided that I wanted to become a minister and preach the Word of God. So two years after I graduated from Yale, I got my license to preach, and I was a minister. And uh, why don't you tell me more about your time as a minister, Lehman? Well, I started off in New York, actually, and I gained popularity when I gave a sermon concerning the duel between Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr, but I still couldn't make ends meet, so I moved to Connecticut, where I started giving out sermons about temperance, and after that, I ended up in Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, what exactly is the American Temperance Society? It's a society uh, that was established on February 13th, 1826 in Boston, Massachusetts, and we're committed to the prohibition of alcohol, even though we were initially just about the voluntary abstinence of alcohol, we soon turned to the prohibition. However, it is not all alcohol, it is mainly just spirits. Beer and wine are okay, but spirits are the big problem in our society. And uh, what made you start the American Temperance Society? I noticed that a big problem in New England was the abuse of such spirits like whiskey and rum, and they were being abused, and there were way too many village drunks, and it was something that should not be happening in a society as great as ours. And. Uh, how did the American Temperance Society become popular? Well, in 1826, I published six sermons on intemperance, and they made their way across the country and even into Europe where they were translated into different languages. You know, I have to ask, what is wrong with alcohol? Well, there's a more personal story attached to this question, because when I was a pastor, over or when I was in the, when I was a minister over in Boston, there was whiskey stored in the basement of my church, and one night it ignited, and the church uh, caught fire, and I viewed that as a personal attack because I delivered many different sermons about temperance in that church. And uh, why did the American Temperance Society decline? Well, many of the leaders in the society started to fractionalize, and they started to move towards different reasoning and different movements and eventually it just went away from actually prohibiting alcohol. What were some of the lasting impacts of the American Temperance Society? Well, one of the biggest ones was in the early 1920s the 18th Amendment was passed which stated that the sale and or drinking of alcohol was prohibited and you could be punished for it. However, that didn't last super long because it was eventually repealed, as one can clearly see, because people today uh, consume alcohol. However, it's only people over the age of 21. No one under the age of 21 has ever consumed alcohol in their life. Um, also, there are people today who abstain from drinking alcohol either due to maybe religious region, reasons or just personal beliefs, which I find is very interesting. Yes, and the, uh, the American Temperance Society did have quite an impact on the prohibition of the early 20th century. Yes, they did. Uh, one could say that they were actually the leaders for that, almost like a precursor, because they sort of started the movement in the early 1800s, and although it died out, that probably helped, that formed a good foundation for the prohibition of alcohol in the United States in the early 20th century. All right, uh, Lehman Beach, everybody, thank you very much. Thank you.